All right, our menu for today is dry taro leaves cooked in coconut milk, together with pork, onion, curry leaf, chili, and ginger. And as you can see on the video, I already placed everything on it. <laughs> yeah, but of course, what I always do is I always saute first the ginger together with the chili to extract the aroma and the spice. And especially here in Finland, the chili is not that spicy. So you really have to extract the oil coming from the chili to make it a little uh, more spicy, okay? Um, I really do apologize. I don't have measurements on how long you're gonna cook the pork. It really, you really have to monitor it. It really depends on how you're gonna slice it, the thickness of the pork. Yes, as you can see here, I'm checking it from time to time. And until I want to make sure that the pork is a little crispy, but not that crispy, okay? Soft and tender at the same time, okay? Again, I don't have measurements of the time. And right after that, I have to, uh, I will be putting already the taro leaves, um, two pack of it. And um, I place also three coconut milk, uh, coconut uh, paste rather. And I added some um, water on it because um, the taro leaves really sucks the, the sauce. So you really have to monitor it from time to time just to make sure that the taro leaves will not be burnt okay and from here as you can see i already um, put it everything and i already placed the last batch of coconut paste but i didn't add any more water okay and then i just only have to put um fish sauce um, you can put salt if you prefer salt rather than fish sauce because of the, you know, the smell of the fish sauce. Some people doesn't like it, but me, I really love to put fish sauce instead. And yeah, right now it's already done. It's it's gonna be it's 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 easy to cook. All you have to do is just only keep on monitoring it, just to make sure that the taro leaves will not burn. That's all. Enjoy.